carry on with section 14.3 this is question 5 it deserves its own video this is quite tricky um, I've drawn the pair of axes from minus 8 to 8 as shown there I've plotted the points as shown 2, 2, 5, 2 etc I've formed a trapezium um, A, B, C, D and furthermore I've plotted it and joined it I've, I've shown, shown the centre of enlargement of 1, 1 right there it says enlarge the shape with scale factor minus 2 and using the centre of enlargement as 1, 1 so this can be quite tricky but I'm going to have to have a go right let's get the vertices in place shall we so that vertex 5, 2 passes through that centre right there and we'll worry about where it lands in a minute so that's that one so the image of B will be somewhere in this direction over here and it'll be you know enlargement minus 2 so that's that one let's try and get A in a good place shall we and then if we can get this um, this bottom line sorted it might be really helpful okay what do we got here then so I'm looking for A going enlargement scale factor minus 2 so I think um, 1 so 1 2 I think it should really pass through the point um, 1, 2, it should be, it should be, I think it should be minus 1, minus 1, so I don't think this line is very accurate, I've got to try and get rid of it, I'm not utterly convinced I've drawn it perfectly, it's really, really hard to do that, let's just try this again, shall we, right, I'll just pass, let's just try to do vertex, it's going to be really difficult otherwise, so, that's, that's the point of 5, 5, pass through vertex C, see what I can do with that, now, Enlargement of 2. Let's, let's look at B. So 1, 2, 3, 4 along and 1 up. Take it backwards and double the 4. Should become 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And instead of going 1 up, I'm going 2 down. So I'm pretty sure that the vertex of um, the image of vertex B, B dash, is going to be um, 8 jumps back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 2 down. Right there so that is my new B B dash in other words all right and that will make a come across to here you see and that's where I predicted it would go anyway just by calculating so a base of um, one two three becomes a base of six so I'm quite happy just to to join that and say well that's my new position of uh, a and B so what we got then I've got a right here and B over there now let's just take a look in order to go from B to C, I've got I'm going three squares up, and this is the, my new position of B. And therefore, to double up on three squares up, I've got to go six squares down. So let's just count: one, two, three, four, five, six. It's exactly on the line where I need it. Look, C, C, construction line passed through the centre right there, and I'm very happy just to drop that down to there. That should be exactly on minus seven, minus seven and it's pretty close I'm quite happy just to let that go alright it oh, should be in blue really so it stands out blue please thank you there it is so minus seven minus seven and the um, the trapezium is forming so that is my new A that is my new B that is my new C now what about this D position well D is two squares away from A and therefore it's going to be four squares away from A dash so let's just count four squares. One, two, three, four. It's going to be right there. And I'm very happy just to now join all the vertices. Um, not perfectly done by any means. Let's just try and do that. And join that one to that one. And there it goes. It's very difficult. Let's try and label the vertices then. So if that's, excuse me, if that's A, this one would be A dash right there. This one following it through would be the new position of B, the image of B is B dash and um, directly above B is the C so just follow this one through that will be the vertex C dash and the last one will be the vertex D dash very difficult to draw so really that, that yellow trapezium has been flipped upside down and enlarged by a scale factor of 2 hence scale factor minus 2 altogether now I've got to enlarge this new image with a scale factor of minus 1 and the center is going to be minus 4, minus 2. I'm so not looking forward to this. I've got to enlarge this thing using center minus 4, minus 2. And if I start pausing the video, well, you can forgive me because this is really hard. So minus 4, minus 2 is right there. 
I now have a brand new centre through which all these vertices must pass. Unfortunately, I'm going to crash into the other construction lines I've got there, the blue ones. And um, what I'm going to do, instead of waste time doing this in front of you, making an idiot of myself, I'm going to pause the video, do the constructions, and try and talk you through it. Right, what I've decided to do is to remove these blue construction lines from the previous question so I've got a clear shot of what's happening in this region here. So watch me get rid of them. So that one's going to go bye bye, so I hope. And that one's going to go bye bye as well. And my brief is to enlarge this difference, this new trapezium, by a scale factor of minus one through center minus four minus two. And there's the center minus four minus two right there. Now I'm going to have to try and do construction lines in front of you. We'll do them in blue again. So here I go. Start from the vertex, pass through the center enlargement, put it there somewhere. And uh, let's just do this one at a time. It's really tricky. Working in red now uh, for getting the new baby trapezium. Now let's have a look. I've gone um, three left, one down. So if I'm going to halve, if I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go three left and one down. So I'm going to pass it through, and therefore three left, one down. I think it's going to go right here. So that point becomes this point right here not perfect, I'm going to put it right there and let's go back to blue and construct again. Now this point passes through oops, what happened there? And that point passes through the centre enlargement so pass through and shrink back on yourself back to red, I think we've got that there so that's um, the new A, that's the new B so again, you see I'm flipping on myself now um, right now back to blue see how we get along let's just try this one because it looks nearer I feel less scared about this one now let's have a look that passed through mm, this is horrid mm, so from that centre pass through we're going to flip minus one ok so that was three squares up three squares left three squares up three squares left is right there. So I think my new position is, um, so look, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's just do that. Sounds like a, a waltz, doesn't it? Let's try and do it. Oops, get rid of that mess quickly. Oh, go away. Gone. This is so tough. Right. So one, two, three, one, two, three. I reckon the new position of D is up there. So that's that one. And the new position of C, if I draw my construction lines in blue, so start from C, pass through the center, and whoosh through. Oops, I should be in blue, shouldn't it? Let's try that carefully. C, pass through there in blue. Told you to get really messy. Can you imagine if this was here when I had all these other construction lines on? Horrid. So how do we get to D? So one, so from there, pass to here. It should actually be directly above this point here, shouldn't it? So this is going to be, let's have a look, um, from here to here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this should be um, six from this point here. So let's just take a look at that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It should be there. If I, was, if I had it perfectly accurately, then that was going to be right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It really should be there. Now, let me just join what I've got here. And hopefully that is in fact flipped accurately. Uh, I'm going to look this one up because it's really tricky. Um, what's a nice neutral colour? I don't have one neutral colour. Let's go for green. If it doesn't stand out, I'm really sorry. But I'm going to have a go. So that one and that one. Oh, it's terrible. It's got to go black, I'm afraid. So that one and that one. And then we need to go that one and that one. That one and that one. And that one and that one. Does that look flipped over to you? I can't really tell. I'm going to pause and have a little check. It's so tricky. I'll be back. Okay, I have to declare, so far so good. It's just really, really hard to convince you that it's, it is correct. It's so difficult to draw this you know, on the screen now. Anyway, that's correct. This black shape here is supposed to be A2, B2, C2, D2. Um, I'm not going to label it and get really, really busy here. So this shape here, this black trapezium, 
is in fact the enlargement of the yellow trapezium by a scale factor of minus 1 and I use center minus 4 minus 2 as per the question. Now further trouble. Translate this black trapezium, which I didn't label, with vector 9, 0. In other words, take it 9 units across to the right and no units up or down. Not too difficult. Let's just take one of these leading points. So if I take this one here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's that one there. And then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's that one. And then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 back. And 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me just join the vertices. Do it in yellow again. So, so this is the new image after I've translated the black one nine units across and no units up or down. So the black one has become the new yellow one and that's its new position. So that's it. This is, this is effectively um, what is it called? Trapezium A dash, sorry, A2, B2, C2, D2. That's, sorry, this is A3, B3, C3, D3. So that's the new one there. Now, trouble again. E, find the transformation that makes this one, that takes rather this one here, back to D. O, in that direction. I'm going to put this one through that one. I think is about there. And this one through that one. Oh, okay, it was perfectly done. I can see where we're going now. This is the center of enlargement. So I want to call this center enlargement. And this is doing part E. Center enlargement is going to be 2, 8. Again, working very crudely, but it's the, really it's the best I can do. And what have we gone? We've gone from a size of four squares up to two squares up. Ah, so it's an enlargement of one half. So what have I done? How did you get from this yellow one here back to the original? Enlarge it, um, scale factor of a half. Put the word in scale factor. And I'm using center two, uh, sorry, yeah, two eight. Now that's what I'd make it from my very crude diagrams. I'm going to pause and let you know if I got it right or not. Now, it does actually say 2, 8. Definitely enlargement of a half, definitely. But, but the scale factor is, sorry, scale factor is definitely a half. Uh, but the essential enlargement is 2, 7. Let me see if I can make this more accurate to make it be absolutely lovely. So, I'm going to backtrack again in public. Delete. I'm going to try and be as accurate as possible. And what we get is what we get. Okay, so here we go. This has got to pass through the point C. Um, I don't want it in black, actually. I want it in this lovely little greeny colour. Come here, greeny colour. There you are. Right, you pass through C. And go where you're supposed to go. Right, you pass through B. And go where you're supposed to go. Um, oh, it's not bad, not brilliant. And this one passed through D. And goes straight up. Actually, I think they're right. Yeah, that point there, two along, seven up. Um, again, very hard to draw, but I'm going to change that to two seven, and I accept what the answer book says. So I've, I've been a little bit more careful. So it's definitely two seven, and that's what I'm sticking with. That is really tough. Um, hey, give me graph paper and a pencil any day rather than using this little pen here. Um, but there you go. It's that's how it's done. I'm sure you can do a better job than I did. Um, if this comes up as a thumbnail on the videos, it's going to be really confusing. It looks like I've scribbled it all out and scratched it. Anyway, I'm going to stop now, so I've had enough of this, and I'll catch you later.